Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Now, what are you watching? You are watching Man Talk. This is a dope show we do every single Wednesday morning right here on KTN Home. I have the pleasure of hosting gentlemen who come on to this show to discuss men's issues and just looking at various topics from a man's perspective. Effective. That is exactly what Man Talk is all about. I'm super, super, super excited to go introduce you to the gentleman that I'm going to be hosting today. But before I do, you guys know that I always like to share a love message of the week. Something to just help you get along the week, you know, in this war and in this fight. And today's love message is to do with patience. I found such a beautiful quote that defines this exactly. Patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. What does that mean? It means I want you to practice patience with yourself. I want you to practice patience with your goals, with the things that you imagine and dream for in your life. Today's topic, we're gonna to be discussing depression and even how it can lead to suicide. But more importantly, why depression affects men more than it affects women and what usually is the experience when you're going through depression as a man and how much patience you have to practice with yourself to feel better. Very excited to go meet my guest. Before I do, I have to tell you this beautiful location that we're shooting at. We are at Bourbon Bridge Lounge, just off Thicker Road, a beautiful space you can come celebrate with your family for celebrations. They have good food and drink and a wonderful environment for all right here off Thicker Road. A huge shout out to them for hosting us. And as per usual, a huge shout out to Wendy, my stylist. You've kept these jump shoots coming, girl, and I'm really appreciating. Let's go and meet my guests. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. You are watching Man Talk here on KTN Home. Very excited to have you with us and very excited to have all these gentlemen with me today. I have four men with me on Man Talk today. To be honest, one extra. I want to see if we can handle it. See if you guys as the audience can handle it. But see, you guys, you'll be nice. You'll be nice, you know? Yeah. 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 Always have the nicest gentleman on the show with me. Now, very excited to introduce him. I'm going to start off right on my right with St. Steve-O. Welcome to the show. Thank you. What's up, everyone? My name is St. Steve-O. I'm known as Anita, the rare type of guy, and I'm happy to be here. Very happy to yes, have you. Yes, yes. Everyone's looking fresh also. Very fresh. Fresh like is the motto. Fresh is the motto. Mumedunga. <laughs> Mom, Mom has to see you all on TV today. <laughs> Mama, I made it. <laughs> Samora, yes, I, welcome I'm to MC the show. Samora, yeah. And I'm happy to be here on Manto. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming through. Edward Dindi. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Yeah. My name is Edward Dindi. And it's a, it's a great opportunity it's to be It's very nice to have you. Thank you very much. And now, MC Full Stop. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> it's an iron feeling to be here. <laughs> Thanks for having this Rasta. Yeah. Yeah, they call me MC Full Stop, a.k.a. John Maina. Uh-huh. You let me say, upiga makelele kwa matri, kwa TV yako, kwa radio yako, na kwa TNJ. I'll see you. Yeah, so kama wajajua sauti by now, una for Google, who is MC Full Stop. But anyway. No, thanks so much for coming through. Thanks for and having me. We also me. put you at the end, food stop. You're the yeah. one with the last word. You know. <laughs> Where we're doing yeah. our Maliza You B2. know. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're actually, we're all smiles and everything, but we're actually discussing a very serious topic that has been coming up more and more and more, especially here in the African context, because your situation is not dealt with very, very well. Mm. And that is depression. Mm -hmm. Yes. And sometimes depression can be very serious. It leads all the way even to suicide. And we've been seeing a lot of those conversations happening. Mm -hmm. There's been a pandemic. 2020 mm -hmm. was very, very tough mm -hmm. on guys. 2021 has come and it is not any easier mm -hmm. on people. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to start off by understanding definition of depression, Kwanzaa. Because it's not real. It is not an existing thing. Some people don't believe in it. So I want to hear from you guys. Do you believe in depression? And if you do believe in depression, somewhere we can start with you. How do you define it? Uh, depression for, uh, for me is uh, basically being in a situation that is troubling you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you have not yet accepted. Uh -huh. So you're trying to run from it, right? but it keeps catching up. Okay. And uh, more so, it's something that you're dealing with on the inside. Mm. Most guys uh, who are going through depression are all smiles, all party, uh -huh. all everything. But you see, that's not the case. Yes. Because how they feel deep within is different. Yes. So that to me is what depression is. Okay. Yeah. I like that because um, you're talking about it 
not being dealt with and also mtu ako depressed and akatu ako sawa it's very hard sometimes yeah, yeah. to figure out that there's something yeah, wrong yeah yeah okay full stop what do you think um um according to uh madaktari huko hivyo nje wanaweza kuambia kuna so many type of uh, depressions but misses is his name mm -hmm. but what i know uh depression ni kitu ambayo uh, samurai amesema like ina affect watu na unashindwa kuongea maybe kushare yes na watu ambao ni kushua wanaumia sana na depression kwa hiyo world si Kenya peke yake mm -hmm. ama Africa ni wanaume exactly men yes kwa sababu uh, society imetufundisha hivi eh uh -huh. Ukienda huko hivyo nje useme mazeni kuna stress mazee kuna kitu fulani inanisumbua mm -hmm. au jamaa ni soft au jamaa huwezi kuwa strong uh -huh. eh, naambia wasema jamaa kidogo mazee nasikia nikana huyu mwana hapa hivi ah wewe acha sijana tuli tuli party so you, you know so unapata inakuwa ni almost impossible yani kushare kushare what you are going through yeah na unajipata maybe umejifungia kwa keja most of the time mm -hmm. and uh, unabaki ukiwaza sana yeah. na simply because hawezi ongea hiyo kitu ambayo inakuumiza inabaki sasa wewe unajiuliza na unajijibu right ukiwa tu peke yako mashida ni zako yako. mashida ni zako so kwa sababu hawezi share na mtu eh uh -huh. inabaki tu mazee ni wewe unasema positive na negative unajiuliza yeah. unajijibu una create walls unavunja unatembea unarudi unakaa so, chini for a lot of men wanaume wengi it's a self journey uko tu peke yako kuongea na watu wengine is very hard uko tu peke yako hey, uko okay. tu peke yako na na before you show ishe uh -huh. nitakwambia nitakwa eh, my story yes. kwa sababu ni kitu ambayo nishapitia kama hiyo yes. for two good years wow we're glad you're here today though full stop um now saint steve yeah. do you agree uh, with that sentiment yes I, i do i do agree uh, depression is an emotional disorder that feeds on us from the inside to outside before right. it, it affects outside in anza in anza yes i agree with that okay now um full stop you said that you're going to share your personal journey with us as well i want to know from you other gentlemen has any of you ever been in that place where you admitted to yourself siko sawa everything is not okay because like you've said it's an emotional disorder so it's not seen una sasa nikiwa na homa like me i'm recovering from a cold it's not corona don't worry i'm recovering from a cold but it's something i could see i could hear it was visual i had headaches my my nose was running i was coughing so it's visual nikiambua mtu i can't come to work or i'm unable to do this they understand but when you have these um, conditions diseases or disorders that can't be seen it's very hard to say has any of you ever been in a position where you were there in that place or maybe you even had someone close to you because something in a affect with your brother or your even your partner yeah i remember a time uh, my dad was ill mm -hmm. he was quite ill to the end of the hospital a laugh later on to end in india for a, a kidney transplant oh wow i remember that time most of of the questions directed to me yes. were how are your sisters how is mom how is everyone doing is everyone okay i couldn't how is steve doing how are you yeah. handling it So at that point ni kwa nashangaa kwani I'm not human watu wa ulizi how I'm doing how you're dealing it, it, it affected me sana kwa sababu all my fans kila unaweza imagine your fans ambazo umekuwa na save for a while zote mm -hmm. umekuwa hey, zikuwa zote kwa 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 kwa, 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 kwa hospital so I was in a phase that I think I'm alone I yeah. think I'm alone in this na nobody understands hata vitu vingine nilikuwa nafanya unapata me I, I, I work out a lot yes. so na nilikuwa naenda 2 hours on in mm -hmm. no time nilikuwa na face hiyo najipata nime nime work out almost for 12 hours straight to na time just passes yeah. uko present you're not aware yeah hey yes. okay thank you so much for sharing that story and i think you've touched on something interesting because yeah. ata full stop kuna sema uko peke yako is your obviously your dad is the sick one and he's the one going through the yes, procedures yes. but as a supporting person yes. uko na stress Yes. But guys were not noticing that they should ask the man. They're asking the man. about your mother, no. they're asking about your sister. The tough the tough point was uko India walikuwa wanalipigia wana direct. So mimi ndio nilikuwa na answer You're every, the one everything. Everything mimi nilikuwa na answer. Kukiumana ni mimi maswali zote zinakuja huko. Kwa sababu everyone in Kenya was calling me. Yes, there. to know what yeah. is happening. Edward, I want to hear from you. I want to hear your voice. 
Um, you. Have you had any personal struggles with depression and do you, do you see it as something different? Depression is a serious issue that uh, all of us men tend to ignore. Mm -hmm. But uh, from a personal experience, uh, I've been through it and uh, I've experienced, uh, experienced it firsthand. Last year, just before Corona hit us, uh, my dad was in the hospital, was hospitalized for a very long time. Yeah. He passed on just within that period when the pandemic had, had hit had us. Had started. Yes. My condolences. I'm very so, sorry. So uh, we went uh, as a man and a firstborn, in a, uh, a firstborn uh, boy in a family of uh, nine. I had a very huge responsibilities on myself. Mm -hmm. But being a man that I was, I kept it to myself. Nashikilia. Tu, nafanya tu, yeah. Na, yeah, there was so much going on, but I couldn't share it with people because I'm a man. Mm. I have to die with it. I have to be strong for the family. But thanks to a few friends and family members who I am open with, yeah. they could come uh, uh, visit me, tunaongea, tunashare. They come in, they share, uh, they, wish, they share uh, both the... Uh, uh, advice and uh, financial advice yes because uh coronavirus pandemic came with a lot of effects on us true some of us were out of employment for almost the whole year yeah so you can imagine you've been with a a, a sick person you uh, incurred a lot of income. you don't have a salary yes you've incurred a lot of costs yes you've paid a lot of bills you're literally on your on your on your on your lowest moment. Mm -hmm. Finances, emotional, everything. Emotional, finances, na family, but in a kwangalia, it's looking at, at you. And being a man, you have to be strong. You have to, stro to be strong for them. So what I, I chose to do, I went back to the village. Ah, okay. And I, I decided to stay there for the entire period. Uh -huh. I just came back to Nairobi in November because I wanted a peace of mind. Okay. I wanted to be around people, real people, people who I can share with and they, they will appreciate my problems. Mm -hmm. So depression is a real thing and it's there. So we just need to speak about it. We need to speak out. We need to be men. Yes, we are men. We are human beings. We are not robots. We need to speak out. We need to share when we are going through difficult times. Yeah, hard times. Um, I'm so sorry to hear about your dad. I also lost my dad in 2020. Sorry, Pandemia. sorry. Yeah, we'll hold each other and cry. Um, but I'm sure they're both looking down on us. They're very happy that we're both here today and we have a lot to celebrate. Now, um, I like what you had to say about you actually chose to leave the city. Me personally, I think in my later life, if I want peace of mind in my retirement, I cannot be in this Nairobi. Yeah. <laughs> Nairobi is fire. Nairobi is straight fire. It is very, very, very tough. And it's very interesting that you've mentioned leaving town. Um, shout out to my producer as well. When we were starting to do Man Talk at the beginning of this year, we had such a hard time getting guests because we were calling so many people that we knew. And guys are not in Nairobi. Guys are like, me, ni me toka, ni me ndosha go, staki kuskia. I don't want drama, especially a lot of people in the creative industry. Like I remember even hitting up a lot of DJs, a lot of MCs. And people were like, no, a lot of events have stopped. Our Biashara is very down. I have no business in the city. Me, I'm chilling with Shosho. I've gone back yeah. to the motherland. Now, I want full stop for you to talk about your experience when you were unwell. Um, did you stay in Nairobi? Did you stay in the hustle and stay in the city for you? Did you choose to leave? What was your journey like? Yangu mazee na kuja kama movie. Okay. Kama cinema. Okay, okay. okay. To, engage, to relax. To story. <laughs> so relax. Or, uh, even though, history ni mekuwa ni kisema eh, mara most kwa show zangu mm -hmm. ama place yote naenda yeah. na sijawahi ogopa kuirudia over and over okay. because kuna mtu saizi anaisikia for the first time true niko show kama unajua MC full stop unajua nimekuwa kwa hii game for over 26 years nilianza hii game nikiwa na miaka 16 that was back in 1996 and really? then the year 2014 ikafika uh -huh. pa kwa sababu ya nini ya alcohol okay so i had a, a, a liver problem uh -huh. and uh, i couldn't perform yeah i couldn't travel uh nikatan nikakuwa yellow Whoa. so ikakuwa maisha yangu ni hospitali mm -hmm. home hospitali home 
So maisha kwa ngumu kiasi. Nikashindwa mm -hmm. kulipa mpaka bills zangu. Mtu kama keja e, bado napata nilikuwa na hospital bills. So kitu ya first nikadu kwanza ikabidi ni clear keja niuze kila kitu ndio niweze kutoka OC. Right. Kwa sababu eh, kwa sababu bill yangu ya first ilikuwa juu sana over 300k. Damn. I remember. Yeah. Eh, then after hapo mazevi nilitoka OC and uh, nasema hivyo nikimaanisha kuwa history yote nafanya OC kwenda kutoka kurudi eh, na jifanyia solo. Kwa ile ile story nilikwambia mwanaume anaambiwaga kuwa strong. Mm. Eh. Hey, na kuna mtu anajua sasa hivi. Na nikajitoa OC na nikajipeleka home. Wow. Kufika mtaani reality kan hit maze sina kitu yote kwa keja. Yeah. So nifanye nini? Mimi huyo ushago. So naweza mimi for all those years kwa nilioifika church. So nilipoenda church at least nikapata counseling, yeah. nikapata wase ambayo many accept. Uh -huh. Wewe as a drunkard eh? wewe vile ulikuwa na maisha ya disco ya club ya nini mm -hmm. karibu kwa side nyingine okay wakani welcome wakanifanya ni feel comfortable wakaanza kuongea na mimi vitu za kawaida right naona yeah. vitu za kawaida so, so you unaanza ku feel normal i unanza... think it's usually sometimes you want to feel like the other people exactly eh sio tu uko poa sio tu utakuwa poa ama umsia ukiongea nayo una expect ya kuachie do ama mm -hmm. ni si hiyo tu talk ina kwa game important sana. So mimi naweza sema hivi eh, very important kwanza sisi ma vijana ndio maana mimi huaga naongea lugha ya vijana, mambo anaweza understand eh. Very important sasa ile tuna share. Ni nini ambayo ina happen kwa nyumba zetu? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. When when we're growing up. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of these things that when you unasema mwanamume anatakana kukazia. Mm -hmm. You know you're not supposed to be out here talking to everybody mm -hmm. about your feelings. Yeah. It's like it's the difference between a man and a woman. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense yeah. because we all have feelings. Yeah, yeah. Kila mtu nikikutuna yeah. ama nikiku, yeah. you'll still feel it. You know what I mean? If I say something mean to you, it will still affect you. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. Yeah. So I want to ask you guys at what point do you think growing up unanza kulani your kitu like you're not supposed to talk as a man? Because you see, us as women, we talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. and share your feelings yeah, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. But for men, you're taught not to. At what point does that happen? I think, I think, uh, I think it's just a stereotype for Africa. Uh -huh. And I think the world at large. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. you see, uh, your kitu, your kitu yaku work a kitu ndan is what people think makes you a man. Yeah. But even uh, I normally uh, uh, make this joke with my friend. Eh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My friends took you to Nongea. To say ma, eh ma ze liko ma internal bleeding. Ojo internal bleeding. Ato kena ako accident. Yes. Ule mo nyana ako internal bleeding. Ako in a bad state. Ule mo nyana internal bleeding. Ile ile no na kana. So in real sense, <laughs> ule mo nyana ako kwa internal bleeding mm -hmm. ako kwa danger so i want guys to stop that stereotype of when ni mwanaume when yes. ni you are internally bleeding, bleeding and yeah. tell people say hey, somebody sasa ambia mse mase ni kwa siko poa unaona and then uh, utapata utapata kuna mtu alikwashaiona lakini labda anangoje use useme unaona na sasa hapa afrika ama kenya hapa kama utasema hakuna mtu atasikia so what yeah. tatia zitu hivyo ibaki unaenda chini 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 tu unanyamaza unaona lakini the moment you open up and uh, like try and talk to guys even around you will find other guys who are going to the same na wako anaweza sema unaona so you will create that forum for guys to open up na mtapata ni wote mnapona pamoja unaona i like that yeah. edward you talked about when you went to um, when you went mm. back to shago and please tell us where shago is by the way <laughs> where is shago <laughs> Okay, uh, my village ma, where I originally come from is Busia. Nice, shout out to Busia. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my Busia people. <laughs> shout out to Busia, yeah. yes, please. Yes, yeah. So when you, when you went back home, you talked about how when you were back in Shags and you were able to just settle, you didn't have all the stresses of the city, it was so much easier to talk with guys of home to explain to them what you have been going through and everything. Do you find the attitude is different in rural areas and in Nairobi when you're trying to share with people? Absolutely. Absolutely. I say that because wakati nilienda, okay, vile nilikuwa nasema originally I'm from Busia but I was brought up in Kitale. Okay. So after burying my dad, 
I went to Kitale uh -huh. because I was brought up with my aunt. Oh, okay, okay. So Kitale is where, Kitale's home. It's yes, where you know. Yes, that's where where I where I call home ah, most nice. of the time okay. because I was brought up I, I from primary school to secondary school. So I have a lot of friends there. Mm. I have people who know me from my childhood. Uh -huh. I have people whom I can share with anything. They knew me when I was a small boy with nothing. We were just playing around those paper balls. Yes. Uh, yeah, and grazing cattle. So these are the people who are true. To me, I call them true friends. Yes. Yes, people who can't judge me, who can't judge my situation. That's the reason why I decided to go back there mm. and just have the feeling, the calmness of the village. Yeah. Because kwangu mi na feel niki kwako village una feel kuna honesty. Each town vile MC full stop amesema shut calls is in the team. Yes. No one is calling him. He was us. Yeah, when we were in school, to go naskiza MC full stop kila mahali. Yeah. yeah. So unaona. <laughs> Yes, Makerea, <laughs> yeah, Kila Mali, Komatiza, South Beat, Kenda Chuot, Gonaskiza. So, Unona, that's what happens in this city. Yeah. When you're up there, you have a lot of friends. Right. But the moment you start going down, in the, in the, in the initial stages, Utapata, a few people who will call and ask you, how are you doing, how are you faring on, and stuff yes. like that. But now, because the, I'm in the sports industry, mm -hmm. so when they shut down everything, it meant no jobs for us yes. right in the sports industry. So I, I ask myself, what am I going to do in that Do city? here, yeah. There are no events. Yes, I can do other events apart from sports. There are no events going on. There's no sports going yeah. on. Yeah. So basically, I'm going to sit in the house the whole day. And Nairobi, bills pity. find you in the yes. house. Yes. <laughs> Feeling pity for myself. Yeah. Overthinking about stuff that I don't need to think about. I'll be thinking about my dad's uh, passing on. I'll yeah. be thinking about how I'll be paying bills. I'll be thinking about how my family is doing. So I chose to go back to the village to feel, just to be at peace. I just wanted that peace. To be around people who love me yeah and while in the village because i'm a i'm a football fan and i'm very passionate about football yeah i played it yes not but not the highest level so when in the village i took up a group of young boys who are just loitering in the village oh, i nice. formed a small team yeah that kept me busy i used to train them every That's morning hours. Yes, yeah I, yeah and Unfortunately, or fortunately, in the village life was going on as usual. Mm -hmm. There were a few tournaments, village to tournaments going on. So, I was training now, I to participate in the tournament. So, it kept me going. It yes, me even busy. when you're sleeping at night, you're like, oh, I have a game tomorrow. Yes. Like, you have stuff to I'm do for I'm thinking on how I train those boys. I'm yeah. going on YouTube looking for videos. I'm, going, I'm doing my research. I'm, rem uh, I'm trying to remind myself how we were being coached when I was in the school yes, team. Yes, yes. So, so that the next day, I know what to train my boys. Right. Yeah, so it kept me going. And I, I that must is say, so cool. I didn't feel a lot of pressure during yeah. that. Yeah. That is so, so cool. Um, we're going to take a short break, but thank you so much for everything that you've shared so far. Keep it here on Man Talk. On social media, please use the hashtag Man Talk and the hashtag KTN Life and Star. You can also follow us on our socials, which is KTN Home everywhere on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. We're going to be right back. We're discussing depression and why in particular it's so hard for men to open up. But as Edward has told us, you really, really need some true friends. See you after the break.